yes hi guys welcome back to my channel I'm going to be putting together um, this um, thing here yeah so I'll, go, I'll be putting this together it's a uh, element gas element because I want to make my bangekes but I've got nothing to cook it on out here so because uh, I'm in the garage guys this is where I have to come and film okay so mm -hmm. so I'm going to be putting this together so you guys can Watch how I put it together. Okay. Oh, they look sad. It's like a camera from here. Mm. So, how do you guys like my t shirt? Do you remember a mukbang that I done? Uh, my first seafood boil uh, mukbang? And I wore a brown top. Well, guys. It ended up having some dribble dribble on it from the butter. So I soaked it. I soaked it for nearly two days, guys. And the butter stain would not come off. So what did I do? I ended up making the design for it. Because I wasn't going to throw away that t-shirt. I just bought it for that mukbang. And then it had a stain and I tried to wash it off. But it would not listen. So, instead of disliking the t-shirt I thought I'll make a design now it even looks better I reckon anyway this is it guys eh if I did yeah if you're so fuffle there we go so I'll put this down And then you'll be needing one of these cans. So where do you to open it? Okay. There's a warning sign, guys. Read it carefully. Never use oversized cooking pots. Oh my gosh, I'm a fob. I meant to put oversized pots. But anyway, guys, I'll try not to do it on this one because I don't want any explosion. So if I'm putting this together and it's going to explode, we, we are exploding together. But don't forget to ring 911. 000 111. Wherever you are, ring the ambulance for me. Anyway, and the fire brigade. Wait, was I meant to shake it? <laughs> no, I'm getting another can. I'm so used to shaking things, guys. Okay, I'm not going to shake this one. OMG! I think you just need to uh, put uh, the fire brigade on speed dial. Anyway, guys, come over here. Come, 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 come. I'm going to show you. See this here? There's a little gap here. Okay. And then this is um right here. This is where you put the little gap. Makamaka mai. Yeah. Makamaka mai And then you put this this pointy thing into the thingy majiki e. Okay. And then you leave See this uh, like a clip thing that's where you put that and then you leave the clip thing pointing into the gap then you close it wait a minute I know I checked this up and then over here there's this lock okay now let's turn it on for the first time okay guys I'm about to put it on okay and then when you guys see the light I want all of you to start clapping okay don't forget ring the ambulance and the fire brigade if it doesn't okay gotta put that down to lock it and then bring the key all the way and there it is oh how cool anyway I'll turn it back off now did you guys clap <laughs> Hey guys, I'm going to be making a uh, pineapple bangeke today and it was um, requested by Andrew Kopilangi 
and Drew with a U at the end, Kopelangi. Okay, so his name is running along down the bottom. He requested that I make, um, yeah, yeah, Bunkiki, Bunkiki, Faila Fala. Oh boy, oh, get back over there. Don't be not say it. Anyway, guys. Wants to open. Oh my God. So, yeah, guys, so I'm gonna be making um, but get here for the fella and you put the fella there. No, got a can of crushed pineapple, and I have susu, that's milk, S uh, baking powder, I've got some baking powder, and I've got one cup of um raw sugar guys that's what i use i don't use the white sugar because i feel it's a lot lot more sweeter okay so i've got my bowl and i've got my cup and i'm ready to go okay so you know me eh? i normally don't don't you know like make measurements and stuff but I know you guys, some of you, want to know, <laughs> you know, the, the measurements and stuff, guys. We all have five minutes below you. Okay. Well, that's about three cups, okay? Okay. And one more. Four. Yeah, that. And then you put the cup of sugar in it, guys. I know some people will probably think that's not enough. Who said that? No. It's, um, yeah, you don't have to have it super sweet. No. If you're already sweet, guys, you don't need the super sweet. <laughs> okay. And then, one, two. Two baking powder, baking powder, and then you stir around, and then you get, then you get two cups of milk, one, two, back of my sheep. <laughs> there you go. Then you get your, then you stir it around, got my neighbours up playing, the dad is uh, mowing the lawn, come and have a look. See? Okay, the man must be doing um well. anyway, so that's it. That's like a, a ba ba ba. But I wanna do something guys. I want to uh put some of this into another bowl. Okay, you know why? Because I wanna divide this up. Because I want to use that one for bankeke, banana bankeke. <laughs> but I don't want to do it right now. I do the, the request of Andrew Kopilangi first to make um, the pineapple one. For your bankeke, Andrew, don't worry. Now, see how it's still, you know, thick. Well, when I add this in, the pineapple, can of pineapple, you add it in there, then you mix it so it can get a bit softer. Oh yeah, see, I'd never worry. Now look at it. See, it's better now. And then you get your, um, like a, um, a cup of warmy water, you know, like warmy, warmy. Okay guys, 
So you have to wait for the oil to heat up. I've been having it on um, like a, a low heat. Anyway, with this one, the banana one, mm -hmm. this one, the banana's not right because I wasn't thinking of doing the banana one, guys, so, but these are sweet bananas, they're not, you know, like, like spotty, like they're not spotty, um, ripe, but they're really sweet. Now look at this, look at this guys, see this is the firmness you needed, now that's enough bananas, just have to stir it in good to mix properly with the mixture. these little see these uh, alien hands or whatever yeah yum they're the best bits of the pancake before you dig into it and devour the whole thing mm. so I'll get these ones out now Mm-hmm. 
That's the banana pancake, guys. It's still cooking. It's time now to take out the banana ones. Mm -hmm. Drain it well. And then put it on the, the bowl that has the paper towel in it. So more pancake. <laughs> and there we have it guys. So more pancake. And these are the nice pointy ones that I like. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, so that's all to it guys. Guys, mm. okay. it's time to try. Oh, too hot, hot, too hot. I try the follow one first. Mm -hmm. It's all nice and cooked inside. And it's got follow bits in it. Mm -hmm. Mm. The sweetness is just right. Mm. Okay, this is the banana one. Ow, ow, ow! Not the banana one. Oh, it's a bit hot. So I'll get this paper towel. Okay. <laughs> it's cooked and dry. Can you hear it? Mm. Cooking real good. Another one's really, really tasty. Mm. Hot. And the final one's good as well. They're both good, guys. I'm not really a fan of the plain ones, but I'm just saying, my nangas. When the oil is bubbling really, really furious, fur you know, that means it's not really cooked inside. So you keep an eye on the oil. <laughs> mm. Mm. You can hear the crunchy bits that I'm chewing. So good. See inside the Inside, you can see the pineapple. When I was a child, I used to love to peel the outside of the pancake first and then eat the middle. Mm. So lovely. They're both good, right? I've never tried to mix it together one. I was planning to do it today, but I thought no. Anyway, I'm going to take out this last lot and then I'm going to take it inside so my kids can enjoy it and make my mama Milo so she can enjoy it. So you guys take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. It was good that you didn't have to ring the, the ambulance and the fire brigade after all. Fast so four guys, you all take care. Fast so four. Kia manuia.